Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome to Trax, or to give it its full name, Trax the Train Set Game, because that is exactly what this game is about. See here, we've got a little wooden train on that lovely wooden track that slots together you might have had when you were a kid, and kids these days certainly still have this very same thing. So you know, you slot the track together, it's got straight bits of track, it's got curved bits of track, it's got little intersecty bits, it's got bridges and bits that go up and down and all that kind of stuff it's that but in a game and it's lovely it's a really lovely sort of charming nice casual light sort of lovely game so we're going to have a go at that now we're basically i'm just doing this to go back in time to when i was a child there's no responsibilities no pressures and no worries and it's all very very lovely so here we go let's have a look at how all this works i've done the tutorial i've kind of forgotten some bits of the tutorial i'm sure that's absolutely fine so on the level select you can go to clear, which is what this looks like. It's just a big open environment. There's no furniture. There's no objectives. There is nothing to do in clear mode. So you just go around, you build the train track, you go to your toy box and you build stuff. You build stuff around the train track. So there's different items. So you know, there's houses and I don't know what there is, churches and farms and all sorts of different things that you might find in a toy box. This is the same thing but it's just at night time. I think what we're going to do is do this. A modern apartment, so a stylish room with minimalistic architecture. Ooh, and apparently it's been five minutes and five seconds since my last save. Okie doke, thank you. So we're going to click on this. It will take us over and look. Already you can see, look, my little train's coming out of the little carriages. Uh, so there we go. So we've got a room. There's a sort of, there's a sofa just there. And there's a telly with a, with a, on a stand. There's something here. There's pictures on the walls and all that kind of stuff. And there's two modes. It says free play mode. Obviously, you can do whatever you like. You do whatever you want. There's no restrictions. There's no rules. Passengers, I think, is probably a bit more fun for a Let's Play video of this type. So, yeah, build a track system to take passengers to their destination. So there's going to be little passengers. Now, I haven't done the passenger mode. I've done free play in the clear mode just to sort of get the gist of how the rules work and, you know, the uh, instructions and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I haven't done passenger mode. So let's click that and see how this works. So, right, okay, yep, good, play. Here we go. Uh, note, passengers will appear around the room. Open the toy box and drop a platform close to where they are waiting. Press K to skip this tutorial. Okie doke. Right, here we go then. So look, the passengers are over here. Oh, look, the little teeny tiny wooden people. Oh, that's very lovely. Build some track to your new platform and stop there to let the passengers onto your carriages. Okie doke. Right, so they're waiting on the television stand. And our station's on the sofa, look, in the middle of it, the sofa. Drop the passengers off at the station to proceed. Okie dokie, I've gotcha. And then we appear and we're sort of like a sort of floaty, free roaming kind of ghosty thing. We can't go out the edges too far, I don't think. I know we, we, we seemingly can go out quite a long way. So we're on some sort of some sort of, sort of slightly weird looking shelving unit. I, I don't dislike it. It just looks weird. It looks quite cool. Um, I do like, I like the fact that it feels like a, if it kind of feels like a real room. I mean, obviously it's all white and a bit scary, like I'm trapped in some sort of apple shop. But it's it's nice. I like the fact that that, that cushion there on the bottom isn't level with the others. I like that. It, and that's you know, slightly bigger. Is that the, the, the wrong way round? I don't know. Well, that one's lower. I like that. So we've got to get our train, our little gorgeous wooden train, from here all the way over to these guys who look fantastic. They look really good just there, just sort of sat on the edge of the telly cabinet uh, and get them all the way over to the station. So how do we do that? Right, let's fly up a little bit. So, um, uh, yeah, well, let's go. No, hang on a minute. You can adjust the height of these things, but it's a little bit fiddly. There we go. So look, you just simply point it and click. And if you want a curved bit, you push it out to the side. If you want a straight bit, you put it straight ahead. It's as simple as that. And then you can do things, you can do, I think it's alt. You can do sort of branching out bits like that, which is very cool. So it can be slightly different. So you can have double tracks. We don't need that right now, I don't think. So we want to head over toward the television stand. So if we head out uh, this way, right, I need to go to the toy box first, don't I? So you press a button and you go to the toy box. So these are all the things you can put on. Now, I don't know if I have to unlock these or not, but they wanted a platform. So let's get a platform. Let's drop a platform in. Oh, look, it looks lovely. So if we put the platform, say, uh, there, can we put it on top of one of them? Is that advisable to put it on top of them? So if we put it just there, which is 
good. So a big green. Oh, look, they're walking onto the platform. They're walking on it. It's really nice. OK, right. So now let's stop. Let's stop getting all, all excited. Right. OK, so it's already at the right level. That's good. And then it goes straight past there, which is lovely. So we can stop off, pick them up. Right now we need to go. And let's, let's cut back around on ourselves. Let's kind of go like this. And we'll come in. Now we might need to lower the thing. Uh, the track. We might need to lower it again, actually. I think we're still a bit high. Yeah, like that. Okay, curve it round and build it past the station and then kind of on that way. And I imagine it'll say, yeah, you've, you've, you've done that. But now look, the, there's a lovely thing. So so we're playing with it. So in the, in the mind of a child, you know, you'd be playing with this thing. So this is probably what happens in the mind of a child when you're playing with a train track. You drive the train. Look, I'm in the train pulling carriages. I've got little levers and things. Now, I don't know what the left and right levers do. I, I assume if you come to a junction with a left or a right bit, you hold that and you go down that path. But we haven't got any of those at the minute. So the only one we're interested in is that. So you drive it. Forward is W. Backward is S on the default key thing that I'm using now. Uh, so yeah, the red, the red little dial down there is what we're aiming for. And the black dial is what we've actually achieved in terms of speed so yeah so we're going as fast as we want to go at the moment let's go up a little bit now we do have to remember that we have to stop to pick up the passengers so let's try and slow down a bit right how are we how are we doing now there is an emergency stop i may deploy the emergency stop about now so break okay so we're here at the station oh look at how just lovely and charming and gorgeous this whole thing is they've hopped on Pop, 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 little tiny wooden passengers. Okay, they're all on. Right, let's crank the speed up. Let's give this some um, How fast can we go? I mean, do we come off the track? I'd assume we come off the track if we go too quick, which is what I'm doing now. Going down a hill. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Emergency stop. And I think we're there. I think we've actually made it to the station. I may hop off and go home to their, I don't know what they do, go home to their little wooden lives. Right, a new set of passengers has arrived somewhere. Find them and bring them back to the first station on the sofa. Ah, so I've got to bring them back here. So then I have to do some sort of connecting thing to connect this up to then bring it back. Because obviously I can't, I've already, I suppose I could demolish all this track that I've built. But that seems a bit sad. I've got a platform and everything. So now I've got to go and find where they are. So where are the next lot of people? Are they over there? No, they're up on that cupboard. Right, let's just take a look around here. They're not on the table. They're on here. They're on this kind of cabinet over here. Okay. So I need to put a station, uh, a station, a platform near those guys. So let's put the platform. Uh, hang on, go up a little bit. Let's turn the platform around like so. Let's put it uh, there like that. So they're all going to hop up onto the platform. I do like their motion. I like their little sort of hoppy, ploddy kind of thing. Like you would do if you are a kid. You just sort of go bop, 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 bop. They sort of just bob around. Right, and we've got to get that all the way up there. And then loop back round and connect to this somehow. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is good. This is good. Now, uh, yeah, I, I do have... I have a son, and he has, he's kind of grown out of this pap. I mean, if we if, he still has it in his room. If we ever did get the wooden trains out, he would probably play with it. But uh, yeah, he doesn't play with it all the time like he used to. He used to play with it an awful lot of the time, which was lovely because I liked playing with it as well. Uh, right, is that the right height? Uh, no, I think we might need to go up another one. Is that the right height? Possibly. I know that might, that might be an okay height, actually. That might be okay. So if we can just go upwards a bit. There we go. Uh, is that? Yeah, I'm not sure that is the right height, actually. Oh, and that's all gone a bit strange as well. Is that? Uh, right. It's a, It's an okay height. That's fine. I just haven't got the right angle to get people on the thing, look. Because the platform's this side. <laughs> not that side. That's no good. Uh, okay, right. So uh, I need to curve it round earlier, possibly. Right, let's undo all those. Bash, bash, bash. Go back. Go back. Right, is that the high up one? No, so let's build from there a curve that way. And that looks like it goes straight past the station. Yes, beautiful. Now that, I quite like that. That is one of those things which you did find when you were playing with these little train tracks. Is that, you know, you'd curve it round and you'd, you'd have to sort of undo the track you'd built because bits didn't fit together and stuff. So yeah, I like that. That kind of holds true. That's a, that's a realistic depiction of how this works. Right, okay, so now if I... 
do ah, right we need to drop it down because we're too high okay that's fine so we'll go downwards do we need to go downwards again yes now look there it can intersect with that like so but then we're still we're still the wrong way round don't we? we're still the wrong way we need to kind of intersect maybe over there and come in because that way we can't we're just going to end up going along there and round that way and that doesn't help anybody unless we then bring it round in that way <gasps> that could be quite cool let's do that and then from here oh, drop into here can we go can we connect to this oh no that's a shame oh okay so we can't do that that's a shame oh i thought we could do that oh never mind right okay okay let's not do that then oh have i changed that somehow by accident oh dear uh, yeah, clear that. Clear that. Just have a normal bit, please, like that. Because we're going to come back like this. So we need to make that go. Yes, this is this is lovely. This is working well. Right, downwards. I think it went downwards again. And then connect. Can I can I connect like that? No. Hang on. How about a left and then like that? Yes. Right, okay. On to the train. Right, we're going to need to give it some serious speed because we've got to get up a big ramp thing. Get up a hill. Right, so let's give it some welly. So we're going to go round the corner. Oh, it's so lovely. It's got really nice kind of calming music in the background. Right, up, 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 up. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> right, and here comes the station. So we're going to slow back down and we're going to whack the brake on. That actually looked like I knew what I was doing then, didn't it? That actually looked like I knew what I was doing. Right, I'm holding it on the brake. The little wooden passengers can bob onto the train. There we go. Bibbidi bobbidi bob, are you all on board, folks? Lovely. Right now, this. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time with this. I'm gonna take my time with this because because we need to do this a little bit slower. So we're gonna go off here. Now, do I need to actually indicate where I need to go? Not here. I've got no choice where I go just here. Oh no, left. I definitely want to go left, otherwise I would have tumbled up onto the floor. Right. And now I just want to go straight on. Like that. And then break and then get into the station and slam the brakes on. They'll get out and go home and do whatever it is they do in the evenings. I mean, what do these people do? What what are their lives? A set of business passengers are waiting on the dining table. These must be taken to the business station within the time limit. Uh, okay, where is the bit where's the business station? Where's the business station? Is that the business station? Is that it? Okay, that's the business station. Oh, no. Time limits. Uh, okay, right. The train is moving, <laughs> which I wasn't expecting, I'll be honest. Uh, okay, right. This way. This way. This way. Oh, no. There's time limits involved all of a sudden. And, and now I've gone all rubbish. Right, okay. Uh, G to get the toolbox. A platform. Slap a platform in like uh, there. That's a good platform. That's good because I know that it matches the train track bit. Right. That way, that way, that way. Okay, is that going to go straight down the middle? Not quite, not quite. Oh, no. Uh, we want it to go down there, but it's not quite got the right angle. And the train is moving. Okay, I've got a minute. It's okay. I can undo this. I can undo this. It's fine. I can sort this. We've got this. We have this in the bag. Right, let's just twist that round like that. And then one like that. And then one like that. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. We knew what we were doing, really. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's too high. It's too high up. No, we don't know what we're doing. I don't know what I'm doing at all. Clearly, I am an idiot. Right. Okay. Uh, there. Down a bit. Beautiful. Right. And and now straight on and into the into the poshy station. Right. Okay. Right. Onto the train. Quickly. We've not got many seconds left. Ramp up the speed. We want to head to the right. Oh to the right come on we've got to get them and get to the station so we want to head to the right do this right hoik the brakes on oh no have i overran no i think they can get on i think they can all get on if they could hurry up and get on that'd be ideal wouldn't it oh no oh no get on get on get on get on get on oi other passengers wakey wakey your train's here standing around i've got five seconds i don't think i can do this in five seconds right Power up. No, no, we were so close. All the business passengers are going to be cross. What happens now, though? So I, I don't think I lose or anything. I just don't think I just get a reward or something. I don't really know. Uh, right, hang on. You need to. I need to reverse. I think I'm falling off the end of the track. Okay, so 10 out of 20 have gone in. 
And 20 out of 20 I've gone in. Now, it might say you didn't do it in the time limit because you're useless, but never mind. Okay. Is that it? Oh, I thought I might have got told off or something. Right, now there's 15 more regular passengers. Where are they? Okie dokie, so we need to go and find 15 regular passengers. Where could they be hiding? They are nowhere immediately obvious. They're not up there. They're not on there. Right, are they high up somewhere? Are they like on top of a cupboard or something? No. They're not. And they're not anywhere really obvious. I'm not entirely sure where they are. Right, they might be low down then. So they're going to be underneath something. Ah, are they in there? Are they in this table structure? No. Right, are they on the on the? Yes, this is a good thing. This is a good child sort of place to put a train track. No, not there either. Okay. Ah, there they are. There they are. Hello, fellas. <laughs> You're all down there. It's so lovely. Oh, look. There's a little bit for the plugs and things to go through. That's quite a nice touch. Um, okay, right. What we'll do is, I think we'll grab these passengers. We'll grab these. And then we'll go... I'll just. I'll go into free play mode. And we'll just have a little look around at free play mode. And we'll see what the things look like. All the different buildings and things. And, yeah, the features. The bits. The toys, essentially, that you can build your track with. We'll have a look at those. And uh, then, then, yeah, I think... I think that would do. It's just a kind of a nice calming game to sort of come to and just muck about in. But right, it's okay. Let's get these guys. So we need to give these guys a platform. Let's rotate it round. So we need to get... Yeah, that's going to be hard to get into, isn't it? So if we drop that there, bosh, they can all hop up onto the platform. That's fine. However, how are we going to do this? Right, so the train is currently just there. So we need to get the train along this way and then turn it round the corner lovely right let's go downwards and again and possibly again <laughs> and maybe even again i don't know let's see how we can always go back up again if we need to so let's lay some more track now yeah well we haven't got this much track <laughs> we don't have this much track in geek cupboard house oh right we need to go undo undo go up a bit no 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 up Look, upwards upward up up no not that upwards why are you not building up all of a sudden now i need you to uh okay i don't know why it's not building higher then maybe i can't do i'm not on the floor am i no i'm not on the floor uh okay why can't i build higher okay like that there we go i don't know why that wasn't doing that when i was expecting it to right, in fact let's cancel that let's just hit a corner just there okay straight on straight on can I can I do a corner there? Oh man, have I made this? No, because it can't get there, can it? It can't get there. Can I move the thing with those guys on? I can't move the station bit now though, can I? So I don't know how to get those guys on board. I've built it too far over. Okay, right. We can we can fix this. It's fine. It's fine. Think in the mind of a child. Think in the mind of a child, and all will be good. Okay, let's do that. Now we can twist that round. Yep, like that. Look, it's beautiful. And then connect. Oh, yes, it's really good. Right, which station are they going to? The regular station. Okay, so now we want a bit that goes out. Oh, no, 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 not no, not like that. Uh, that way. Like, oh, no, no, that. that's it. Like that. Like that. Uh, upwards, like so. And coming in and then joining like that. That is lovely. That is... That is lovely. Right. Onto the train. Lovely. Right. Ramp up the speed a little bit. We've got quite a long way to go, actually. We've got quite a long way to go. We are quite high up off the edge. Run. Down we go. Roller coaster mode. Then we're going to back up a bit. There we go. Lovely. Right. Then we're going to go round. So we want to go to the right and then to the left. So we have to hold the left and the right buttons in order to do that. So we don't go veering off. Now, what I would like to do, I'm going to see what happens if we tumble off. That's what I'm going to do next, I think. Right. And now we're at the station, so let's slam the brake on. Now, is that enough for the two things there for everyone to get onto? I think so. Right, let's hold it on the brake. Yep, everyone can hop onto the little carriages. All on board. All aboard. Oh, one of you. Can you sit down, please? Sit down. Thank you very much. Okay. So then now we need to make sure that we go to the right. 
We need to take the right track. And then we want to go to the left. I don't think we'll have any choice anyway yet. It just takes us that way. And then break. And off you lot get. And in you go. Oh, it's lovely. It's really lovely. Look at it. And it's got a really proper old station type thing as well. Right, there's some more business passengers. I, do you know what? I'm not so bothered. I'm not so bothered about going to find the business passengers. I wonder where they are, however. Oh, they're all on there. Look. <laughs> Hello, business passengers. Oh, Mix with regular passengers, so you'd have to make multiple trips. Oh, I quite like that. What I would like to know is, what happens if you tumble off onto the floor? That's quite intriguing. Do, do you literally fall onto the floor? So let's see. Oh, no, I've done it. I've done it the wrong way around. That, that way. Like uh, that. Yeah, let's do that. And let's go that way, and then let's fall on the floor. So let's do this. So let's just put the train on fairly slow. Like uh, that speed. So this is a good speed. We're going to head to the right. So we're going to choose the right siding, if you like. Is that the right terminology for a train? I've so, watched so much Thomas Tank and you think I'd know. And do we fall on the floor? We do. <laughs> we just tumble onto the ground. Oh, wait. It doesn't stop. Hang on. What? It doesn't stop. We can... What? Oh, Okay. I thought it would stop. I thought that would be like, oh, and it would reset you on the track. But but seemingly not. We, can, we can't do anything else. We just move back and forth. <laughs> okay. So if I, what, can I turn? I can't turn. I'm not, I'm not an actual turning train. No, I can just go back and forth on the floor. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? Uh, okay, no, that's fine. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in free play mode. I'm just going to make a very, very simple track and we'll put some things around the edge just to see what they look like. We'll put around, you know, some, some bits and bobs, some houses and some, I don't know what else there is, garages and trees and all that kind of stuff. Okay, there we go, look. It's a fairly expansive track and, yeah, we start there. You can't connect your starting bits with where you started from. But, yeah, everything else kind of links up and it's all nice. There's a bridgey bit and there's a loopy bit and that comes round and... The only thing is, once you're on that track, actually, you can never get out again. That's a good point. Let's sort that out. So, uh, yeah, let's click on this bit of track. For some reason, we can't click on any track anymore. Don't really know why. Hang on. Okay, there we go. I had to clear this sort of object I was holding. Okay, so I think we need to connect this bit up. Because once you come over the bridge and join this loop, you can never get out. <laughs> oh, no, you can. No, you're forced out. In fact, the loop takes you back over the bridge and back round this way, and then to your inevitable doom that way. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so let's make a bit here where we can branch off from here. Yes, to do uh, that, or do you want to go somewhere else? No, let's do that look, and then you can come back round, and you can join this, and it's all very, very lovely. So we have a toy box, which is a gorgeous idea. So we've got loads of stuff loads of things in here all sorts of different bits and bobs so yeah look the one the one that i've already looked at i've looked at a small house and a fountain so look you just drop a fountain in place it's gorgeous and look it's got water coming out of it and all sorts of lovely stuff so uh, and a small house that's a the small house they can live next to the fountain like there that's good oh a couple oh that one's quite in the fountain isn't it never mind right okay so if we see press c that kind of drops it off your cursor so that's cool. Uh, what else is there? Medium house. I think we get access to all of these by default. I don't think we need to do anything to earn them. A tall house. Oh, look at that. A little cool street. Okay, so what do we want on the other side of that street then? So we've got a random house. What's that? Oh, it's a different colour. Okay, well, let's put that on one of the other side bits of the street. Oh, look. Oh, it, oh it's gorgeous. Look, it just makes a street. Oh, that's very lovely. Right, a barber shop. Yeah, let's put that over that house. Let's put that over the other house. Oh, this is so, it's so lovely. Right, another fountain. Uh, yeah, let's drop that there then. Let's give that place a little bit of a feature. What else is there? There's clock towers. There's windmills, lighthouses, hospitals. Now, how do I move to the right icon size? Let's make that smaller. Oh, my goodness, there's loads. Silos. Right, a factory. A factory. Oh my goodness me, the factory is enormous. Oh, look at it. <laughs> it's massive. The factory is big. Okay, that's cool. Right, a police station. I'd say the police station is not quite as vast. Does that fit quite nicely in the middle of there? Oh, that is lovely. That is gorgeous. Right, 
Uh, a hospital, yeah, hospital. That's got to be big. A hospital's got to be a big old building. Surely, I would have thought. Uh, yeah, let's have a hospital just there. There we go. So we can drop people off at the hospital by train. You know, like you do. Uh, actually, there's not roads or anything, is there? There's no actual roads or anything. What are they? Regu wedding spawn. Different kind of things. So regular station. Ah, so we can put the stations in if we want. Okay, let's drop one station there. Let's drop ourselves a business station just uh, in there. Like that. Oh, no, not there. No, how do I... Okay, clear, clear, destroy. Uh, a business station just so it's not on the... Uh, there, like that. And then... What's this? A wedding station? <laughs> oh, look, it looks all lovely. Oh, that's very cool. Well, the wedding station can go just there, like that. That looks cool. Ah, now, yes, they go to the middle. Of course they do. So, okay, let's not let's not have the wedding station just there because that, that's just silly. Let's put it there you know, so it makes sense. And, uh, yeah, the same for that one as well because that doesn't make any sense either. Let's drop that in so it goes actually over the tracks like that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, what else is there? Windmills, clock tower. Yeah, I need a clock tower. I need a clock tower in my life. That go in the middle. That's good. A uh, windmill, yeah, everyone loves our windmill. That can go just there. And a lighthouse. So, uh, yeah, the, this bit can be like industry. So this can go over here. This can be all the industrial bit. So the lighthouse can be looking out over to over to see just there. Lovely. Now, look, there's different things. Block tower, booster station, so fireworks. No, you can't do fireworks in this, can you? Oh, that's very cool. Uh, construction starting point ah starting point a piece a corkscrew what's a terrain block i don't know what a terrain block is oh a big just essentially just a big blob of of something you can build onto okay no i get that that's good these are experimental bits so these aren't presumably going to do anything now i guess so de deposit collect and speed checks they're going to be ah right you you pick up stuff and then you drop it off okay uh, a fairy tree oh that's nice and go near the fountain as can uh, a bush because we want it to look want it to look pretty oh look you can make a whole little kind of garden if you wanted now i don't know how you multiple select items i don't know but let's just pop a few of these in and a tree oh it's it's really nice uh okay and uh where's is there something to sit on a bench yeah so we can have a bench next to the fountain a bench over here look oh no i've pressed off uh, pressed entirely the wrong button what a spoon uh let's have a bench there and then we'll have a, like a little picnic table look so we can have a picnic table oh it's it's very lovely right and what else is there and then we'll um I'm, I'm tempted to put a corkscrew in somewhere. I want one of those in somehow. And then this fireworks auto fireworks box. All right, I don't know what that does. I mean, if we run over it, does it do stuff? I don't know. Should we try it? Firework uh, trigger. Oh, they're, they're lit. They're lit somehow. Don't do this indoors, kids. Don't do that indoors. Go on then. Ah, oh, it's all star shaped. That's very cool. Okay. So if we do that there, will that trigger a load of fireworks as we're driving along? Because that's quite cool. Hopefully we'll come in the right way. <laughs> come in the wrong way. Um, a town sign? Okay, yeah. Enter a name. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, what should we call our town? Um, Penge... Pen... Penge... Oh, no, knee. Pengeonia. And that can go uh, just here. There you go. That's the, the little the little village of Pengeonia. And that needs in it. Uh, that needs in it something exciting. It needs in it a post box. It needs a post box. The, the town needs a post box. It's very important. There we go. There we go. Look, I've built a little place. It's got to, they all move and the windmill's moving and all this kind of cool stuff. Uh, okay, right. We want one of these in. I want a corkscrew. Now, I don't know how this is going to work, but I just want one. Because I want to see how the train goes down it. So if we just build one, uh, I don't know, there. Let's see if we can work this out. So let's put it there. So we drop that there. How are we going to get our train onto that? So we need to break that out to go right, to go right, to go left. And we're going to go up, 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 up. 
which is brilliant. So we need to go like that. We need to make sure, right, clear, select you. Right, and then we're going to go, oh, we could go over the top. We could go over the, <laughs> can we go over the, over the, the houses? Yeah, that's cool. And then we can go along there. Special, special express route down that way. And then down, no, that's upwards. Downwards and downwards again. And downwards again. And downwards again. <laughs> And downwards again. So now we're on the floor and along and along and and oh, can't do that. Connect that like that. Beautiful. I think we're going to go and take a little look around our place. We're probably going to get lost and crash and that's fine. But let's go and have a look at how it all looks from the toy perspective. Right, we're, go we're going for that thing. I'm going for the corkscrew. I want to go that way. Right. So if we hold. Ah, no, no, I can't get there straight away. Can I have to go? <laughs> I've got to go round. That's fine. Let's have a look around here. Let's go around the clock tower. I've I've come off the track, and I, oh, all oh, right, and I can go through things. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know how to reset. Once I've once I've crashed, I don't know how to reset. Hang on. Uh, okay, you just hold the uh, hold the T train button down, and it does it for you. Right. Okay. Let's try not go as as fast. So here we go. So we're going round. Oh, it's just look. Okay, why have I come off the track? Why am I off the track again? What's happened there? Right, I'm not steering left or right or anything. I'm not I'm not doing anything stupid, am I? I'm on the track, aren't I? Yeah, I'm in I'm in the things. So I'm going really slowly. So I should, in theory, go around this corner, I would have thought. But no, I don't appear to be snapping into the things. I don't appear to be in the track itself, which is a little bit strange. Okay, let me see if I can figure out what's happened there. I don't know. It all looks fine to me. It looks fine. That looks like a perfectly valid thing. I'm in a track just there. And then I should go into that one and then go along and do stuff. I mean, before I made it all the way round. I don't know. Okay, well, let's just crank the speed up. Because last time I was going quite quick and I went around the corner fine. Let's just give it some oomph. Yeah, there's a bit there where I seem to tip. I seem to tip downwards and I'm not entirely sure why. Which is a shame. Anyway, let's see if I can fix that. I can have changed it to just a straight bit of track. Just see if that makes a difference. Because it was like a connecting bit. Yeah, that seems to be a lot better. That seems to be going far better. Right, so let's just keep going. Right, let's go left. Let's not go around the clock tower. Let's go around this little bit around here. So it goes all the way over here. That's fun. Taking us along round this way. Oh, it's nice. There's no music on this bit, though. I quite liked it when there was music playing and it was all calm. Right, let's head to the left. Oh, no, no, I don't want to go. Oh. oh, no, I get to go through the town. I get to go through the, the, the little plat. I oh, know, let's go up the thing. Yeah, so let's go. Oh, <laughs> I don't get to go up the thing. Okay, having another go at going up the corkscrew bit. So I'm going very slowly to see if that makes any difference. Yeah, I think I think it's good. It's looking good. Yeah, I think I was just going too quick before, perhaps. Okay, so now do I need to give it some oomph now? I think I might do. I'm not going to make it up. Oh, I'm going up a corkscrew. <laughs> this is lovely. Right, okay, and up. And here we go. Look, so the town's down there and the factory's off in the distance. Ah, the slightly terrifying plummet back down to earth. And then back down here. There's one of the stations, which looks very cool. There's a fountain doing its watery fountain thing. And then there we go. Look, and we go under a bridge, which is nice. I actually ducked just there. <laughs> I actually physically ducked my head. Uh, right. And this is going to take us back over the bridge like this. And then where is it going to take us now? Let's see if we can go around the clock tower way. Oh, no, we can't go around the clock tower way. It's going to take us this way. That's absolutely fine also. I like the... Oh, it's not that fine because I've crashed because that bit just comes off the end. But there we go. Never mind. I think you get the idea with this. It's very lovely and very charming. It's all very sort of nostalgic and allows you to you know, go back and enjoy playing with these things again. Because I do have some of these in the room next to mine. Well, I say I do. My, my, my son does. But, you know, whatever. I could go and play with him play this with him and you know borrow them or whatever but yeah it is very lovely it's really it's really nice and i can see it being we saw a glimpse of the the games of the challenge modes on the previous version on the uh, previous uh, mode sorry not version that we just played with the picking up the executive passengers whatever they were the business passengers and getting them to their place within a time limit so that's quite cool i like that i like the fact that they are actually implementing game modes because you know something a bit like this sandboxy in the long run 
it kind of lacks a purpose. So that's good. If it's got a game mode and then this is also a fun bit where, bit where you can just come and just muck about and build a lovely place, then that's very cool also. So yes, Tracks the Train Set game. It's on Steam. I picked it up fairly recently. I can't remember if it's in a sale or not. But anyway, I picked it up recently. I don't think it's too expensive. So if you're interested, go and check it out on Steam. If you have enjoyed this, please do leave a like. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Everyone loves barbecued rat. My compliments to the chef. I don't think he did much. He literally stuck a stick up the rat's bottom and put it out on a fire. Shrieking weird ladies in the water. Probably not a good thing. The heroes offer a decisive solution to all the woman's riddles. <laughs> By shoving her off the bridge. Yay. Yay for the chiseled stick. <laughs>